yeah. master artist combining elements of alt rock, pop, electronica into his musical catalog. A style that has yielded several viral moments for the effervescent star. That is a big word. Please welcome to Fresh Out Live, Oliver Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Tree, everybody. Uh, when Jaleel was on the show, he actually did a backflip off the stage, and I thought that was the most acrobatic move ever displayed in this studio. That cart, Everybody's that done cartwheel. That, though. I know. We've never had the cartwheel, Oliver. That was pretty incredible. Now, um, the reason we're being graced with your presence is, of course, you're in New York City as part of your worldwide tour uh, that you have right now called Alone in a Crowd. You see the uh, poster up on your screens right now. Uh, tell us what an Oliver Tree show is, if you can even describe it in words, Oliver, uh, for those that haven't been to a gig. Well, luckily, I've had the chance to take this tour around the world. I hit all seven continents in two and a half months. And the live show is a mixture of a movie, a TV show, a concert, a play. We got WWE wrestling. We got karate moves. I got scooter stunts. Uh, I do motivational speaking, stand-up comedy, and some belly dancing. But here's the thing. That's what makes it somewhat unique, but what makes it really unique is the crowds. And we have a very eclectic mix of people. But we've been having some, some problems lately and we actually had to make it mandatory that people wear deodorant because there was such bad smells. So for people not following, we had to start handing out deodorant as well as toothpaste at the shows. Now you, uh, you just said uh, seven continents in a worldwide tour. And I mean, every show is of course different. Uh, every crowd's probably different. Do you see a commonality in Oliver Tree fans around the world? Is there something that stands out to you? Besides smelly, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good through way. Um, now, this uh, tour is supporting an album that you dropped uh, in September of last year uh, by the same name, Alone in a Crowd. And you've experimented uh, throughout your career, I mean, going back to Herd, with a lot of different sounds. What did you want to achieve in terms of uh, the sonics, as they say, of this album? Well, for me, I wanted to make something very lush and sensual. So what I did is I went to the jungles of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and I recorded in the nude. And I did this every day. <laughs> About four hours a day, I would go out there. I was very in touch, let my feet to the ground and let the just flow through my hair to the sky. And my engineer, he was fully clothed, but he would record me. <laughs> and, you know, I'm really proud I played 80% of the instruments, so played all the guitar and piano, bass. <laughs> and me and my father actually built some of the instruments for the gear, so I had some very innovation in the instrument building. I invented a couple different instruments, so. And you, so you did that all fully nude? Uh, mostly new. Or just the vocals? About 80%. Wow, that's incredible. Now, uh, something you also do, uh, I don't know, nude or not, Oliver, right. is you have a passion for riding scooters, and not just riding scooters. Of course, uh, longtime fans know you used to have a competitive scooter uh, career. Yeah, I was a freestyle pro scooter rider. We're not gonna bring up the pebble. What? We're not gonna bring up the pebble. Don't talk about the pebble. Or don't talk about the pebble. You can Google the pebble if you want, but it's really... It's not for now. Uh, but you also built the world's biggest scooter. Can we get a round of applause for that? That's a pretty amazing achievement. Um, and to short answer, yes, I have rode the world's biggest scooter naked. Really? Yeah. But what makes the, the world's biggest scooter story very special is not only did I break the Guinness World Book of Records, but I also crashed the world's biggest scooter. I had a full concussion, broke multiple bones, and then recently, about four months ago, I was arrested for riding it through traffic in Los Angeles. So. Really? So it's kind of been a part of my journey. Oh my gosh. Now, uh, you actually uh, made a bunch of your content in Serbia. You know, That's your music true, videos yeah. are always unique. You try to do something different every time. Why Serbia? So my uncle lives in Serbia. He works on a corn farm. And so a lot of people don't know this, but Serbia is the number one exporter of non-GMO corn. Mm. And so I was out there working, and for me, corn is my favorite food. So. Main thing I do, corn flakes every day. I put, you know, as much high fructose corn syrup as I can on everything. I'm a corny guy. A lot of people know me as, everyone knows Oliver Tree knows I love corn. So I was out there working with him and basically, I just, you know, I had this new character for this new album. His name is Cornelius Cummings, which is inspired by corn as well. And just heavy influence. 
Totally. Uh, speaking of uh, influence, I mean, your music videos are so iconic that they've, they've influenced some pretty mainstream artists throughout the years uh, in terms of uh, just your creativity. Uh, going back again to your first video for her just, I mean, blew me away when I first saw it. Um, how long do these concepts take though from a creative standpoint of like from like concept to execution for you? It could take anywhere from one year to six years. This album, I was designing these characters, the looks I designed myself, um, the whole concept was about three and a half years total. And I had some stuff I really wanted to do, but I ran out of money. So I was building a flying suit so I could actually fly, but we couldn't get the approval. My lawyer, Jeremiah Jeffrey, said it was way too dangerous. <laughs> and so we, we hit some hiccups along the way, but I went out there and filmed for three months and made a really special series. Amazing. Now, of course, alone in the crowd, people are still rocking with it. I mean, it's not that old, but are you, you're a very creative guy. Are you working on some new music? Is there any new music on the horizon you can right. tease? So I really, I shouldn't be talking about this, but I will announce this here. This is the last album. I am fully retiring after this, and I will be moving to Serbia with my uncle on the corn farm. That is an exclusive and a cliffhanger we're gonna end on. Oliver Tree, thank you so much. This has been Fresh Out Live. Make sure you check out Alone in the Crowd. And also, Oliver, if he's coming near you, you gotta see the live show. Have an awesome weekend. I'm Kevin Kenny, Oliver Tree. We'll see you next time from MTV. Woo!